Welcome back to my new video. This video, um, we are going to store our vector embeddings in uh, pine cone. Okay, so pine cone is is um, a vector database, um, and it's also a long term memory for AI, and it makes it easy to build high performance vector search applications. It's a uh, developer friendly, fully managed, and easily scalable with our infrastructure hassle. Okay, so I think this all these people are using it. Um, you can create an account. You can sign up to create an account. And um, if you keep scrolling down, um, you can see you can integrate it with AWS, Google Cloud, OpenAI, Cohere, Cohere Elastic, Databricks, Hugging Hag Lang Chain, and all that. You see, so these are all the uh integration information so um i already have an account so um i've already logged in you can see this is the um login information so we have um, the environment the api key which i'm going to copy and and then make use of it um so what we are going to do here is um I think we'll need also API key for from open AI. So I'm going to say pine cone key. Then I'm going to copy the API key. Um, so let's jump right into our IDE. Um, in our last tutorial. I think we created the vector embeddings using this uh, code. Um, so what we are going to do next is to um, paste in our credentials information, um, which I'm going to copy and just paste and explain what is going on. So you can see that we have the Pinecone API key. We have the environment and then the open AI API key, which we just created here. And um, the next thing we are going to do is um, we're going to say open AI dot engine dot um, list. And this is going to check we have authenticated. Okay, with open AI. Um, so the next thing we are going to do here is uh, we need to create um, an index. Okay, so the index is where we are going to store our vector, um, our vectors or our embedding vector. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is to initialize initialize pine cone and before we start i'm going to import if you haven't installed it uh, i think it's pip install pine cone i think client um let me be sure um history and then I want to grab pine cone. Okay, so it just um pip install pine cone hyphen client. So that is how you, you install it. So the command is here. So I'm just going to import pine cone. And once we do that we can initialize pine cone dot init and then we have to pass in the API key, which is the API key, as well as the environment, which is equal to the environment. So this will initialize uh, Pinecone for us. Um, the next thing we need to do is, um, we need to check if an index already exists. Create 
index. If not, so once we do that, um, I'm also going to check the length of this embedding. So I'm going to say length embeds, and then we take the zero index. Okay, so if open AI not in pine cone dot list indexes, we want to think it's open AI. We want to create an index. Okay, so we'll say pine cone dot create index, and then we give it a name open. AI, and then the dimension is going to be the length of our embedding vector. Okay, so it's going to be embed, and then the first or the zero index. And then the kind of um, metric we want to use, so we can decide to choose Euclidean or we can choose cosine um, similarity. Once we do this, we can connect to our open AI index. Once we connect, we're going to have index is equal to pine cone dot index and then we pass in the open AI index. Once that happened, we want to import, we want to create a data frame, okay, pandas data frame. So we're going to say import pandas as PD. So we're going to create a data frame. And then we'll say df is equal to pd dot data frame. Data frame. And then we will have to pass in the data is equal to id. And then we give it two ids. Let's call it a and b, OK? So the A and B, it's referring to the first embedding and then the second embedding, okay? So the next is what a vector, which is going to be a list of a list, something like this. So um, already that is the dimension of embed. So we're just going to pass that in embed and that is it so the next thing is to upset upset to pine cone okay so once we do that we're going to say index dot upset and then we're going to call vectors is equal to we're going to zip df dot id column and then df dot vector column okay and then um i think we have namespace you know we don't want to pass in anything so the namespace is going to be empty um we could have passed in other parameters um like um namespace the batch size and it should show progress and all that um we are not going to be doing all this and also we are not passing in any uh, metadata. So, and these are all examples that you can explore. So I'm going to run this. And then once I run it, we can check from our console, Pine console, to see if the vector embedding is up there. So I'm just going to click on this green button and run up.
So it's, you can see we have a dimension of 1,536. Thing is taking a little bit of time, so let's wait for it. Um, so if we go to the console and I refresh the console, you see it's still initializing. So as you can see, um, our index is ready. Um, you can see the metric that we specify cosine, the, the dimension is also here and some other information. So we can actually do all these um, operations like upset, query, update, fetch, delete. Okay, so um, I think we can do Fetch. Um, let me see. I think the curl command is here. Okay, yeah, this is the curl command. We can do this to fetch um, the vectors. You can see we have two vectors. The number of vectors is two. You can also get the or describe the index if you want. Um, so I'm going to do a full tutorial on this uh, pine cone. Um, so don't be worried about this. We'll do all this uh, tutorial on all these operations in my next video. So, so now everything is finished. So if I want to, let's see, comment out all this. Um, I want to comment out this too. And this and that. So I can actually fetch. Fetch data. So all we need to do is to say index dot fetch. And then um, I can pass in, um, let me look at the command again. Um, IDs. So I can pass in IDs, which will be A and B. Okay, so I can actually print Find this. So as you can see, these are the IDs that we have. Okay, so, um, 